Help us continue to make material like this available. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au. This video will cover some basics of Exchange 2003 restoration. So we're logged on to the small business server as the administrator. I can bring up a web access page, Outlook web access page. I can then log in as the administrator to demonstrate that there is mail stored for the administrator in their mailbox. So once I've logged into a mailbox, you can see that in this case, there are 25 messages in the inbox for this user. So let me just log out of Outlook Web Access. When Exchange Server is installed, during the installation process, you're asked for the location of the Exchange mail databases. These databases hold the emails for all the users and also all the public folders. You'll find these databases installed under Program Files, Exchange Server, MDB Data on the drive in which you in chose to install the Exchange databases. Inside this directory, you'll see a number of files, including log files and a priv1.edb and .stm. These refer to the private mail store or the user's email boxes. A pub1 edb and a pub1 stm. These are the public folder databases. So the first option that's available to restore Exchange is simply to create new Exchange databases. So what I can do is go to the Exchange Manager and right mouse click on the MailStore mailbox and choose to dismount it. This means that I'll be able to work on the directory Once the mail store database is dismounted, I choose to do the same thing with the public store. Right mouse click and select dismount store and confirm. Once both databases have been dismounted, you'll see that there is a red arrow pointing down indicating that the databases are stopped. This means I can now work on the files in the, on the, in the database without causing any conflicts. So what I'm going to do is simply select all the files in the MDB data and I'm going to delete them. Normally, if you're going to be working with Exchange, it's always a good idea to make a backup of these files before you commence work so that you can restore them if required. In this case, because I'm on a test system, I can easily blank the MDB data directory which now as you can see has nothing in it I return to the exchange manager right mouse click on the store and I choose to mount the store you'll see that by mounting the store exchange has detected that no databases are currently found on the system it prompts you to say that the database is missing and asks you whether you wish to create it in our case, we know that we've deleted the old files and we do want to create a new clean database. So we simply click yes to continue. When complete, you'll see a message telling you that the store was successfully mounted. Repeat the same process on the public store. Again, right mouse click and select mount store. You'll be prompted to create a new database. Simply select yes to continue. Now with both stores mounted, if I return to my Outlook Web Access and log in again, I should see that the mail store is up and operational, but there is no mail. So what we've created here is something called dial tone version of Exchange Server. Basically, it's an empty mail store in which users can receive emails and start making entries but there is currently no of their none of their previous data stored as you can see once i've logged into outlook web access i can access my inform 
access the information, but there's nothing present because the database is empty. But I can create new entries, send new emails and receive new emails, but obviously there's no old data. So if I log out of this, this the next step that's available to you to restore Exchange is basically do a full restore of the Exchange database. So again, if we have a look at the directory in which the Exchange database is, we'll find that we have created a number of files when we created our new databases. So again, to do a restore of the Exchange server, we will need to clear these out. So return to the Exchange System Manager, right mouse click on the Mail Store, select Properties this time before dismounting it, because what we want to be able to do is to tell Exchange that we are about to do a restore, which means that we want to be able to overwrite the existing database. So to overwrite the existing Exchange databases with a, back, with a restore, we select the Database tab and then select the option that says this database can be overwritten by a restore. Simply click this and then go OK. Repeat the same process on the public store, right mouse click, select properties. Once the properties are displayed, simply select the database tab and then select database can be overwritten by restore. Select OK to apply this. Now we need to dismount the stores in preparation for a restore. So right mouse click and select dismount store. Select yes to continue. Repeat the same dismount process on the public folder by right mouse clicking and select dismount store and then selecting yes. With both stores dismounted, return to the directory where all the files of the databases are. Again, select all the files and delete what's there so that when you restore data, it can be placed into this directory. When the MDB data directory is empty, go to your backup. Simply select the option to restore the complete Exchange server, which includes the mailbox store and the public folder store, as well as the log files. Press start to, to commence the restore. You'll now be prompted for a temporary location during the restore. Nominate anywhere that has enough space on the hard disk. And make sure that you check the option to last restore set and the log files will reply after the restore is complete. Select OK to continue. The backup should now commence op operation and restore your complete exchange folders. Once close the restore window, minimize our backup if we look into the location of the files for Exchange, we'll see our familiar priv1edb and pub1edb. This means that our databases have been restored to their original locations. All we need to do now is to mount the store. So return to the Exchange System Manager, right mouse click on the Mail Store and select Mount Store. Once the mailbox store has been successfully mounted, repeat the same process with the public folders. With both stores now mounted, I can return to my emails, log in again, and check that all my emails have been restored. As you can now see, all my original mail has been restored to my mailbox. This concludes the presentation on the basics of Exchange Server Restore on Small Business Server. If you have any questions, please send me an email or see my blog. Thank you very much.